So the, there's this excellent book that people should read uh, called Viral, The Search for the Origin of COVID-19. Uh, Matt Ridley and uh, Alina Chan, I think Alina is in uh, MIT, probably. She's at the Broad, yeah. At Broad Institute, yeah, yeah. So she, uh, I heard her in an interview give this analogy of, a, <laughs> of unicorns. Yeah. And uh, where basically somebody writes a proposal to add horns to horses, the proposal was rejected. And then uh, a couple of years later, or a year later, a unicorn shows up. Yeah. <laughs> In the place <laughs> where they're proposing Just, to do it. I mean, that's so I had- And then everyone was like, yeah. I, it's natural origin. Yeah. It's like, it's possible it's natural yeah. origin. Like we haven't detected a unicorn yet, and this is the first time we've detected a unicorn. Or it could be this massive organization that was planning, is fully equipped, has like a, a history of being able to do this stuff, has the world experts to do it, has the funding, has the motivation to add horns to horses. And now a unicorn shows up and they're saying, nope, yeah. def 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 <laughs> definitely that, natural. Well, that, that connects to the to what you, your first question of how do I get to my 85%? And here's, here's a summary of that uh, of that answer. And so it's what I said in my 60 Minutes uh, interview a long time ago, of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the yeah. world, the quote from, uh, from Casablanca. Mm -hmm. And so of all the places in the world where we have an outbreak of a SARS-like bat coronavirus, it's not in the area of the natural habitat of the horseshoe bats. It's the one city in China um, with the first and largest um, level four virology lab, which actually wasn't even using it. They were doing level three and, and level two for this work, where they had the world's largest collection of bat coronaviruses, um, where they were doing aggressive experiments designed to make these scary viruses scarier, where they had been part of an application to insert a furin cleavage site able to infect human cells, um, and where the, when the outbreak happened, we had a virus that was ready, ready for action to infect humans and to this day better able to infect humans than any other species, including, uh, including bats. And then from day one, there's this massive cover-up. And then on top of that, in spite of lots of efforts by lots of people, there's basically no evidence for the natural origin hypothesis. Everything that I've described just now is circumstantial, but there's a certain point of where you add up the circumstances and you see, well, this seems pretty, pretty likely. I mean, if we're getting to 100%, we are not at 100% by any means. There still is a possibility of a natural origin. And if we find that, great. But from everything that I know, that's how I get to my 85